Local, regional, and national talent are joining the Minot State University campus for the 8th annual Knotstock. This year's event provides a series of concerts, workshops, and exhibits to students and members of the public. This multi-day event engages the campus and community with opportunities for hands-on interaction and participation in the arts. We're excited about opening up uh, the university doors and, and inviting people to experience the arts and see what we do here. Starting with a single artist working live in the Beaver Dam eight years ago, this art festival is continuing to transform into a celebration of art, music, and words. Um, my name is Jasmine Wolf. I'm from Mina. I'm going to play you a few songs I wrote. Oh, I'm too shy, I'm too shy, I'm too shy. Come talk to me. Knotstock helps people make the connection between art and everyday life. Even if you hate art and you don't understand it and you don't like it, you can come here, you can make a t-shirt, which makes sense to a lot of people, and they can make it themselves, so they actually are being the artist. This is a year of many Knotstock firsts, including a poetry slam, several workshops, and the first ever live podcast from Adventures in Design. Contacts with artists and talent are being developed with the growth and prestige of Knotstock. And it has a flawless reputation. You know, anybody else we know that's been here, they're all like, you're going to have a great time. The people are really, really nice. Like, just get used to being around really, really nice people for three days. And so far, it's completely lived up to its reputation. Students, faculty, and artists work hard to maintain that reputation year after year. MSU students develop the skills they need to plan a successful event as well as let out their inner artist. It really puts our art students on steroids um, because they work with pros for a few days, um, they make connections, they get inspired, um, they're more enthusiastic about trying new things. The planning of Knotstock 2014 is already in progress. Next year's festival promises to bring even more attractions. Reporting for MSU Inside Out, I'm Raya Zabak.